Good morning, my Aries. Happy birthday, boys and girls. We are doing your reading on this fire sign day. I am actually, let's see, fire signs are Monday. I'm going to be, I'm on a cruise right now in the Caribbean. So I'm pre-recording these uh, messages for you. I just didn't want to leave you guys stranded. Like heart, don't leave me stranded. Anyway, I don't know why the songs are popping into my head. We have an ace of pentacles on the main deck. I have a four swords reverse on the clarifying deck. Four swords reverse can be anxiety and need to pull yourself away. You need to pull yourself away from somebody that's causing anxiety, which is why we have you as an ace of pentacles. Aces of pentacles are better. I almost feel like you're better off. You're better off without somebody in your life. Five of wands reverse, it feels they were manipulative. Six of cups and the tower, some type of connection came in very suddenly and very hopeful into your life. Oh, you know, but then there's the Emperor Reverse and a Page of Swords Reverse. I don't know why I'm tapping into that energy. So, okay, by the way, have you guys, a lot of people watch tarot, so they're familiar with the uh, um, Oracle cards. Let me look here. Where is it at? The Oracle cards, because I, sorry. It's the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, and on the card is uh, all that glitters is not gold. I feel that with this energy, Aries, whoever you've been dealing with, on the outside, they were something to be to behold, you know? They were gold, right? You were lucky to be around this energy, but underneath it was a pile of shit. Page of Swords reverse and an Emperor reverse, and I know this is your energy, but I, I'm really getting a strong narcissistic vibe here. Page of Swords Reverse can be a bratty energy if they don't get their way. So can an Emperor Reverse. But on the outside, <laughs> wow, I am so lucky. That's what it feels like, Six of Cups in the Tower. Like, that's what it feels like. And, and once you got to know this energy, the less you liked and respected them, which is why I feel like you're breaking free from this energy. Oh, I got such an icky vibe. It's like the ick factor. All right, Aries. All right, let's just get into your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. If you are an Aries, know an Aries, feel like being an Aries. Well, Aries, I'm glad you're here. You could be an Aries and this resonates. You could be dealing with an Aries. It could resonate as the main story. And Aries could be the cross watcher. This reading could be for an Aries or about an Aries. Take it as it resonates. General energy for the Aries. What are the collective messages? What are the collective messages for the birthday boys and girls? General energy for the Aries. Justice reverse, Libra and energy. Getting screwed over. Four swords reverse, Libra and energy. It's about them, isn't it? It's about them. Like you're here to serve their needs. What's influencing the justice reverse? Okay, thank you very much. King of swords reverse, the female. Four of pentacles, queen of cups reverse, the hermit reverse. Four of pentacles is holding your own. Like it feels like she's in lockdown mode at her house, but it feels like maybe you're normally very selective about the energies you allow in. This particular energy, look at this, Queen of Cups reverse and a Hermit reverse. Hermit reverse is a need to pull yourself away because they make you, it feels icky. That's, a, I, I don't, I just wanna just sum this reading up. It's the ick factor. The more you got to know the Marys, the less you, um, I want to say we even respected them. They give off some type of image of status to other people or respect, but once you got to know them, it, no. What's influencing the Justice Reverse? Thank you very much. The Two of Swords Reverse. Look at this Libra and energy, it's crazy. Two of Swords Reverse, pulling yourself away. Also, Two of Swords Reverse is uh, taking off the blindfold and seeing somebody for who they truly are. And twos and tarot talk about making a decision. But I get, I feel like you truly saw somebody in this connection. And a queen of a justice reverse is getting the short end of the stick or being screwed over. But it's also a queen of swords reverse. And I feel like this is a very narcissistic energy. If you're not here to serve their needs, they could be very, I feel like you're dealing with something that can be downright abusive to you. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Aries? The hermit. 
You have options, my dear. You know you have options. She's over here in peace, Virgo energy. Two ships came in, right? So I feel like this is not even a relationship you necessarily need in your life, but it's a relationship you're allowing to leave in your life. Look at this, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, moving on and knowing that there's something so much better else out there from away from this energy. What's in the past? What's in the past for Aries? What's in the past for Aries? The world reverse. What's on your mind? What is on Aries' mind? What is on Aries' mind? The judgment reverse. I'm just curious. I want to keep going because you got a major and a major and a major and a major. The only thing that, that's not a major is the Two of Swords reverse. What is the near future for Aries? What is the near future for Aries? What is the near future for Aries? The Ace of Cups reverse. Ick factor, right there. Ace of Cups reverse. Maybe you guys gave somebody uh, another chance with that judgment reverse and world reverse. Normally, if I pull the world, I'll pull the judgment. And they're in the same, they're either both upright or both reverse. They're both reverse. And a judgment tells me when it's reverse that you know what you need to do. You're just not doing it. And a two, I feel like there's an anxiety. I feel like you could have, with a certain situation, gotten over your head, got more than you bargained for. But at the end of the day, you need to tell somebody, N-O. Ace of Cups reverse is still an ace reverse. And aces reverse are no's. You're dealing with somebody, I feel, honestly, that are, is very emotionally abusive and emotionally um, unavailable. And it's about their needs. And once their needs are met, they're out of there, right? I don't, that judgment reverse on your mind, I, I really can't, I can't wait to clarify that. Because you know, so why are you giving this person another try is the question. Why, unless this is, let's say it's an ex and you have to deal with them, but maybe you have kids. But if you're, if that's not the case, this, this person needs to go. All right, what's the justice reverse center of the reading, Libra and energy? What's the justice reverse? Justice reverse, Libra and energy. What is that doing here? Justice reverse. Pa Look at this, page of swords, two of pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with, on the outside, they're a king, but on the inside, they're just a page. So a two of pentacles and a page of swords can be a sweet energy. You got sweet and sour going on. That's what I'm getting. So you walk away, eight of cups, and then right away, here's a page of swords and a two of pentacles. They somehow, I feel, they're able to communicate their way back into your life. Devil reverse right there, and a queen of cups is what fell out. One second, one second, one second. I really feel like this person manipulates your emotions to get their maybe physical needs met. They just know how, what to say, which is why we have a judgment reverse on your mind. For some of you, you're like, yeah, I dealt with this person three months ago. Well, you better put your phone on do not disturb because they're about to contact you. Okay, why the queen of cups on that justice reverse? So we have two queens, uh, by the way. So a queen of swords reverse and that justice reverse and a queen of cups. Somebody's manipulating somebody else's emotions to get maybe something physical or from you. Money, love, attention, sex, whatever it is. Why the Queen of Cups? King of Swords. You need some boundaries up, Aries. Don't let this person set your uh, draw your boundary lines. What's this Two of Swords reverse? Influencing energy. What's the two of swords reverse? Ten of swords. Yes. Ten of swords reverse. Bottom of the deck, eight of swords reverse and a star reverse. I feel like you may have already said goodbye to this energy, but right below it is a judgment reverse and a devil reverse. Now, let me tell you something about the devil reverse. Depending on the cards around it, this can be worse than the devil upright. This is a person that doesn't is not going to change. 
they maybe tried in the past for a quick analogy could be somebody who's addicted to drugs and they went to rehab 27 times and they don't want to do it the 28th time they're just succumbing to their toxic traits and say this is who i am that's a devil reverse depending on certain um, cards around it we have look at that judgment reverse devil reverse emperor reverse you know what needs to happen is a hangman reverse cut yourself free from this get a perspective that this love to a cups reverse this is, love shouldn't hurt aries and this person makes it hurt and i emotionally physically and it tells me that you keep dealing with it ten of swords reversed and a judgment reverse a world reverse a hermit which is great but then we have, it's just, it's, it's a cycle. It's a cycle going on here. It's time to break the cycle. Okay, I feel like maybe you are with this Ace of, with this King of Swords upright and an Ace of Cups reverse next to it. I get a big no on this. You don't have any more. This queen, the queen holds the biggest chalice in tarot land because she values feelings she values honesty she values realness what she got in return is a, a bitch fest and so i feel like for this queen this is why it's an ace of cups reverse she's got nothing left to give i don't even think you may even be in love with this energy or in like or in respect with this energy and honestly this queen is just tired her her cup is empty she has nothing left to give which is why this queen's inner king of swords is coming out and probably taking control okay tell me about the hermit reason for the reading why the hermit reason for the reading and the king of wands yeah oh i knew i'd see that one that is the only thing upright with this person besides a, probably a certain member a king of wands is very attractive very charismatic and can talk themselves out of a paper bag this king of wands is their charisma is probably what's keeping you on this yo-yo event as soon as you cut you get away from this person i feel like they can sweet talk their you uh back into their uh web into their lair tell me about the hermit and the king of wands and the two of swords two of swords libra trying to block them out trying not to see trying not to give in this king is very, very, um, uh, what's that word? Very, very, what is that word, Aries? What is that word? I keep, it's like sly. Very uh, smooth? I don't know. I, I It means, I'm, I'm going for smooth, but that wasn't the word. All right, the world reverse in the past world reverse and the six of swords reverse all this stuck energy you don't know what to do you know why because your heart is of gold and this person's mold you know it's you have to see this person for who they really are not who you want them to be judgment reverse on your mind ace of swords reverse i'm loving it i'm loving it like yeah like mcdonald's i'm loving it ace of swords reverse is the no out of the entire tarot deck when it's reverse i don't trust you i wouldn't believe you if your tongue came notarized thank you judge marilyn million yeah ace of swords reverse it's a, it's a no i feel like you're truly cutting this person out in an ace of cups reverse <coughs> beware here comes a six of cups here's that king of cups coming in that king of wands coming in because you're trying to take your power back from somebody who feels like your power is their possession so they're going to try to sweet talk you and be like, remember when we stayed in the bed and ate peanuts all day? Yeah, it's, it's, be wary of this King of Wands energy. Ace of Cups reverse in the near future. What is that about? Ace of Cups reverse in the near future. Queen of Pentacles. Aries, who I'm speaking to, Aries, you have it way too much going on to be dealing with this there's something about this energy that you feel by having it, it it sets you apart maybe they don't give a lot of people attention maybe it's your boss maybe it's it's something it's something which kind of draws you back in because maybe yeah it's just for some reason you felt seen by this person you felt wanted by this person 
even if they treated you like crap, you do have it really going on. Queen of Pentacles, when I look at you, a King of Swords, when I look at you, you don't need this person to be happy. They, I mean, they're not even making you happy, honestly. Queen of Wands, look at that. You have so much more you can get back than what they could ever give you. <coughs> oh, sorry. So I feel with this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, I really feel you're just going to keep it moving. I feel like you're finally telling this person, no, I can't do this another cycle. Two of Wands reverse is making a permanent decision and probably to stay silent. Right below the High Priestess, <coughs> Devil reverse. It's not a good Devil reverse unless you got away from them. That would be a good Devil reverse. But I have a feeling this double reverse and this king of wands, they're going to try to manipulate you, your emotions, maybe through sex, maybe buying you something, trying to get you in there. Look at, you got a chariot going on and a star. <coughs> I'm sorry, Aries. All of a sudden I can't speak. You got a chariot and a star, two majors and the queen of cups and king of swords. Do you see who we have? Queen of cups and king of swords, queen of cups and king of swords with that though they're majors your wish is is out there it's definitely not in here stay on your chariot and get the hell out of there all right aries have a great rest of your week and take care guys i love you Bye bye